the work is about passages and about collecting images as you go through uh, experiences of life. And for me, the images are usually of architectural um, interiors, uh, churches, magnificent places, and also very humble places as well. And my work also was described by a woman who wrote an, an essay about me as being like the nude descending the staircase, only I'm descending the staircase and, and collecting all the images that are around me and selecting the ones that come up in that particular, in that particular painting that are going to work formally as well as contextually. And um, basically, that's what it's about. And my spiral staircase paintings are taken from the poem Ash Wednesday by T.S. Eliot. And that's a, that's a really beautiful formalist poem because the cadence of the spiral staircase, you can, the cadence of the poem is clearly goes round and round and round. And in it, there's interspersed comments about, um, well, comment, comments and parts of the Catholic mass, prayers, litany of the saints. And it really, it makes sense in a, in a way, it's not a particularly uplifting poem, but the thing about it that I like the best is that with a spiral staircase, you really can't see that well what's ahead, but you can look down and see where you've been. And to me, again, it's, it's kind of the way life goes. <laughs> when I hear music, I see imagery and I see colors which is why I can't listen to music when I paint because it's distracting because I hear a color, I, I hear a color and I'm using a different color. So I, I end up listening to you know, books on tape or uh, Netflix, things that have a really good, good uh, uh, verbal stuff, going, good dialogue going on so I don't have to look. I, um, I look at process work and I think, wow, that's pretty interesting looking and I keep on going. And if I see something with content, it stays with me. I really think craft is important, but I don't think craft is the only thing that's there. I know a lot of people who can draw beautifully, but they have nothing to say. So it's a combination of having something to say, knowing how to say it, and also making it look the way it needs to look. And that's the process part. You know, how do you make, how do you make this idea work? Skill is important. It really is. I think art students need to learn how to draw. You can't, you can't communicate unless you can draw because there are some people who you have to show them what you mean. Uh, a table that looks like this or um, the person's arm was in this position or, you know, it's a, it's, it's, or just, I have this great idea. This is what I mean. And you sort of sketch it out. You, you can't, you can't describe a painting entirely with words or a drawing or any good piece of art. But you can give us a hint at the skeleton and the skeleton is the drawing. And I always start from elaborate drawings that um, I can erase and redo and erase and redo because um, otherwise I don't know where I, I mean, I don't know where I'd go with some of these things because they're so complex and they, they end up slightly different from the drawings. I, they, they, there's sometimes I'll take, I'll take a scaffolding out or I'll put a window in or a plane, a transparent plane that needs to be there just not only for formal reasons but also because it's part of the experience of walking through that space. If you're gonna say something, say it well, be articulate. And it's, it, that goes for painting, music, um, writing, you know, it's just make it, let people understand what you're trying to say or let them say something that, well, you know, in some paintings, people will look at them and they might not know what I'm doing, but they tell me about my painting, <laughs> what it means to them. And that's, that's very nice as well. I mean, if, it, if I touch someone in a personal way where they can ex extrapolate some personal experience from what they're seeing, that's great. I mean, and sometimes it's totally different from what I'd expect. Um, I just had an exhibit in New York in a gallery in Chelsea, and it was a wonderful experience. Um, I uh, saw lots of 
friends from high school, which was really weird, um, and uh, also met people from all over the world. And uh, it was a really good experience. And having done that once, I don't, I mean, it would be nice to do it again, but now I don't feel so compelled because I look at the things Dwayne Reed has done for me and he's done an awful lot. And, you know, I always, I always feel like he's my primary gallerist because he has, in the 20 years that he's exhibited my art, um, and other people have too in other cities, he's the one who's really made the difference.